Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we would look at how to create our first LaTeX document. Besides, aside the hello world we created during the installation. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So in order to do that, you can install LaTeX. Uh, sorry, you can make sure that you have LaTeX installed and then you can run it using the Tech Studio, right? Or you can use a terminal if you're on Windows. Any of them is fine, right? If you are on Linux, sorry, any of them is fine. So you can just write text to do here. Let me increase it. Text to do. And then you have that open for you. So basically that's that. So we have text to do. So in order to create a document, we will focus on the wizards, right? So you come to the wizards section and then here you click on quick start. So quick start gives you the opportunity to choose anything at all that you want to quick start. Okay. So if you can quick start an article or a report or a letter, a book, Bima. So quick start is generic right it's not it doesn't limit you it doesn't give you any constraint it allows you to choose whatever you want to quick start so that's the document class if you want an article you can just click so if you for some reason you're just typing a normal document for maybe assignment or something you can click on the article if you have to write a report you can click on report a letter you can click on a letter and then you have that then the typeface font so the if how the font size that you want you can just click it right then the paper so depending on the document that you'll be printing if your end product your document will be a4 you'll be printing it on an a4 sheet then you choose the a4 paper here else you can choose a5 b5 letter paper legal paper and then executive paper okay and then after choosing that one, you will come to the input encoding. So the input encoding is UTF-8. Let's maintain that one. And then the font encoding, the T1, you can also maintain that one. The bubble two, you can keep the now or you choose English or whatever you want. Then the next step is the packages, right? So by default, the ARMS packages and then the graphics packages are selected. So the ARMS packages enables us to include the mathematical symbols. So that's the American Mathematics Society, the packages. So that's the, that's so you have the ARMS packages and then the graphics. The graphics package helps us to insert graphics. So images, graphs, and all those things. The graphics packages helps us to insert images. So that's that. So once you have these two basic ones installed, as of when we need other packages, you can just include them. And then the title, so the title of our document. So getting started with LaTeX. Started with LaTeX. So that will be our title. And then the author, the person writing the document. So you can type your full name here or whatever. Let me just type my full name. Joseph Sedem. And then now here, so this becomes the other option. The criterion, if you want your document to be landscape instead of portrait, you can do that, right? If you want to be vertical, that's portrait, then you don't take it. So by default, it's vertical, so that's portrait, right? And then if you wanted to have the drafts, why not? The final watermark, so why not? You can do the one-sided, two sides, uh, you can make it one column or multiple columns. That's two columns per document per page. You can include a title page and then dedicate a whole page for the title. So that's that. And then 
let me choose the landscape since we saw the other one in the hello world app okay so basically that's for this so you choose all your preferences and then you see so if you have any other document class you can just add it that's all okay then the next tab here talks about geometry so the geometry has to do with the margins so by default this is the margin this is where all your documents will go to but then there are sometimes that the mathematical equations are very long right that if sometimes it tends to enter the paper or the page so what you have to do is to come here click on the width and then just play with this size play with it a little let's play with the with the margin keep that in mind the the width how your main document how you want it to be then the height you know, come here and then play with that one too as well increase it to what you want you can come here and then do that if you want the margin to you can close the margin or increase the margin if you want so that's the left margin you see that it keeps increasing but then i want to decrease the margin as much as possible so you can just unselect it and then use the page to see so you can see that the margin is minimal okay so let me keep that that way then once you are done you click ok and then you come here it brings you here right So we see that we choose the font size, the paper, the landscape, the title page. They are all here for us. And then we choose the article, the document class article. We choose that one too. Uh, encoding is UTF-8, the T1, that's the, uh, the other font encoding. And then we decide to use the arms package, the math package. And then this is the graphics package, right? So uh these are these are arm symbol the greek symbols that you see this is the math the integral and the other ones that you know so this without these packages you can't use the mathematical equations or symbols right so let's make sure that you have this okay and then you see that the the package we are using the geometry that has to help us to deal with the it helps us to deal with the margin so we have the geometry package to use for us out of the box then the title the title too has been generated for us nicely getting started with later and then the author here so now we said that the document environment you cannot type whatever you want to type here so first things first we want to make our title page so you just type this command make title because we said that it should dedicate a whole page for title. Let's run it and see what. And I said if to run it, you can press F5 on your keyboard, right? Or you type click on this double button here. If you click on the single one, it's just compile it, it won't show you the view. So you see that we have a whole page dedicated for this, right? So getting started with LaTeX. That's a whole page. I just have set them on this date so basically that's that if it were portrait or vertical you see that this wouldn't be like this right so if i should remove this and then rerun it press f5 you see that now it's vertical it's no longer landscape okay so you can just change this and if i decide to remove the title page here now I rerun it. You see that now the whole page is not dedicated. So if I say hello or come to Cinematica and then I rerun this code, you see that you see the welcome to Cinematica here. But then this time around, it is. This time around, it's what? Hidden is inside the person. So if you can you can just bring back our landscape. And then 
to do that. So bear, bear in mind that we did the geometry depending on the landscape. That's how come you couldn't see the uh, you couldn't see the welcome well. Okay. So if you for any reason you want to change it back to vertical, then you can do that. But then I still want my title page here. So title page. Five. So you realize that it doesn't really have to be in any other one to put a command there. It has that. So the title page is here, and then our new file is here. So depending on how you want to document, you can always do that, right? The purpose, as you said, we wanted A4. We could have changed it to A5 if you want. And then it has changed, right? So this will really help be helpful when you are going to print, right? So keep that in mind. The paper you know you'll be printing on, you change it before and do your typing before you even put it on your pen drive. Okay, so that's for the article. Now let's look at another one. So to quick start, that's the general one. Now Bima presentation, we can have quick Bima presentation here too. So you click on this one and then the, you have the theme, right? So if you watch the exploring the uh, LaTeX online, the overleaf, we saw that we had a lot of templates, right? So Text Studio also has a lot of themes, right? Not Text Studio, I see, but then Bima, you can use some of the themes that come out of the box. You can just choose any of the themes you are interested in. So you keep seeing these changes. So if you see your some of the slides from your lecturers. This is they use they make use of the Bima templates. And then you could also if you have a customized thing, you can customize your own as well if you if you want. So you look through and then see the one that is good for you. And then I have a favorite here. So you look through, see the one that is good for you. You choose that. And then you. Okay, so I can just choose any of them that I want. And then the typeface, right? So here you can increase the font size if you want to. And then they're coding ETF8. The author is still, so instead of Euclid of Alexandria, I want Joseph Sedem. So I'll bring Joseph Sedem here, right? And then the title, instead of there is no greatest prime number. Getting started with later. Later. Okay. So you have that. Then you can make use of the bubble packages as well if you want to. So that's that. If everything you like everything here, you can just click OK. And then yeah. So you see that now this changes document class. It's not Bima. It's making use of the package. This ATF8 encoding the T1. Now it's making use of this package and then the Frankfurt. They're using this thing, right? Okay. And then document class. You see that the author is here. Title is here. If you like, you can use the subtitle, the logo, institution, and all those things here. So let me just run F5. There you see. Interesting. So you see that this is different. The reason why this, this is Bima, right? So you see the presentation commands here, down here well. Okay. So basically that, that if then you can have begin frame, end frame, begin frame, end frame, frame title and so forth and so on, right? So yeah, basically that's that for creating Bima template. So that's that to get started quickly. We would also look at some of the commands that we need or the things we need to create Bima templates in subsequent videos. The next one we'll look at is a quick letter. So how to quickly start the letter. So you see that this one is specific to letters. But on which paper are you print your letter on? A4 or letter paper. You click on that. And then do you, would you be typing some mathematics? Oh, then you can click on this to make use of the arms packages. And then the size, you can choose this. 
then click on OK. So now you have this, right? Okay, now you have that. So let's look at this. The document class here is now letter. For this one, we had Bima. For the previous one, we had what? Article. Keep that in mind. So this is a letter, and then the packages. Latin one. We are, we are making use of the arms package, the mathematics package, right? And then, so this is where you establish your address. So let's run this F5 as always, or you click on this, and then you see. So you see that now it's in a form of, form of a letter, your name and an address. Then the date comes. You have the recipient address, right? And then the salutation. They have the title, and then so the conclusion could be here your signature. So basically, it's enough. It has been formatted in the form of a letter. You can just include your letter, and then you are good to go. So basically, I am. Uh, <laughs> it's a funny one. The brightness. Okay, no. Let's just say. I write to thank you for watching your, this video. <laughs> Interesting. And then you click on F5 to run. So you see, right to see how I write a letter here. Let me remove this one. So you can say properly f5 so i write to thank you for watching this video so basically that's that type your letter there nicely say hello so dear sir or madam so dear viewer and then you click sorry you run it here so you have dear viewer so you can put dear sir or madam there and then you do your editing so you can put the title the address here and a whole lot of things so my signature joseph Sedem or Sedem like that and so i run it they have that so basically that's 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 how to quick start your letter writing so you see you can use letter for virtually everything document type your letters presentation reports articles assignments and all those stuff so that will be all for this video. If you've learned something new, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.